Welcome to my question and answer series. Today's question is from Jay. Jay from Nigeria asks, Mpo, I've realized that many entrepreneurs and highly successful CEOs have a very important exercise regimen. I hate exercise. I usually quit after the second day of exercising. How do I get myself into a habit of exercising? Jay, this is a very good question. Um, I actually started off as a very obese child, weighing over 100 kilograms uh, many, many years ago. And it, it's first started by people actually dissing me. So people would say stuff like, oh my gosh, you're so fat. Um, oh my gosh, you look like a, like a drummer, like a, a round bin. Um, why are you this fat? And it started off as that. And that didn't really work out well for me. What worked out well for me was understanding the health implications of me exercising. And I think that might be the problem where many people suffer, that they want to start exercising because they heard some CEO does it or they heard someone else does it, and that's the reason why they're starting. And you'll find out that if you start based on someone else, halfway through you'll quit because that's not a very strong reason. So the reason why I started exercising is I started actually researching that for those people that have exercised and those that haven't exercised, what actually happens to them throughout life? And I realized that people who exercise tend to have more energy, they have less diseases. I mean, it's so, you should do your own research because when you do research, it enlightens you, you get more knowledge. But it's so striking that people who have exercise even have lesser chance, or people who exercise have a lesser chance of catching the flu than people who don't. That's what research shows us. So I started realizing that by me exercising, I'm actually helping myself or assisting my body not to get sick. I realize that it's one of the things that causes sickness is not actually being physically active. Because remember, our bodies are designed to be active. That's what they're designed to do. So when you're not active, you're going against what your body is actually designed to do. In actual fact, you're harming your body. So it was through that that I then realized, okay, when I exercise, it's as though I'm refueling and recharging and re-energizing myself. That's what I learned. But I'll be very honest with you, it started off with personal trainers, after personal training, started with all sorts of diets, started with all sorts of things to get me to the point where I am. But one thing that I'm really grateful for is that when I look in the mirror, I'm happy with my body. Um, if I, it's time to swim, you know, whereas when I was very, very obese and not happy with my body, when it's time to swim, I'd swim with a t-shirt. Now I can swim with my shirt off and I'm very comfortable. So there's a lot of other benefits that come along. But my main reason is to say I want to be active because I want my body to be able to carry me through the things that I do. A lot of the times I'm usually on a very hectic schedule, so I need my body to be there for me. I don't want to you know, commit to something and then halfway through I'm fatigued or my body can't carry me through because I don't actually have the exercise. So for me, I've found that your reasons are very important. After you've made the reasons and you've got strong reasons as to why you're going to exercise, the next thing is put goals and milestones to it. Put specific goals and muscle. So go out there and tell people, you know. A lot of times when you tell someone your goal, you're more, for, you're more ready to do it because you've told people. So I'd go around telling people, listen, by next week I would have lost this many kilograms. This is what I'm working on. I'd speak about it so many times. When people meet me, they're like, how's the diet going, you know. Um, people would even meet me and say, oh, no, we know you now. You're now like a, a fitness person, you know. Because I knew that for them reminding me, I knew that I had some sort of accountability. So that really worked well for me. And one other thing I always advise is that it's so important that you get the right advice about how to go about your fitness, um, how to go about your health. You know, so many times, I mean, you, you mentioned the fact that you, you quit after two days and so many times people go in hard at gym for the first two days and, you know, ruin themselves. And um, after that, they actually can't exercise or pull through. So what's important is that you actually consult somebody, fitness instructor, health instructor, dietitian, somebody who knows what they're doing to actually help you do it. It's so important to have the right fuel, the food, to actually assist you when you're exercising. And it's so important to keep that discipline. But one thing that I've realized is that you are right. Many successful people do exercise, but they all do it for, for different reasons. I've got my own reasons. One thing that I've realized is that your reasons are the reason why you actually pull through when you, know, you come back and you're actually feeling very, very sore.